Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday. It's time for the .NET girls again <laughs> on a Monday. How was everyone's weekend? We did a trunk or treat um, this weekend. And then obviously Halloween's tomorrow. You're going to have your morning sale. Yep. Um, me and Gina, Southern Sire and Vintage, are going to do a sale tomorrow. But it's going to start at 2 o'clock. It's going to start early, so that way we can spend time with the trick-or-treaters. Our um, our neighborhood does it big. Like, they have a party at the park, and then all the kids just start running down. So we get a lot of, we get a lot of kids um, for trick-or-treat. And uh, it starts at, like, 4. And then right after the party, where they do, like, cotton candy and hot dogs, get the kids all hyped up. <laughs> With stuff like that, then send them out. Oh, it's so fun. I love Halloween here. Do you get a lot of trick-or-treaters? Zero. Zero. Oh, we get a lot. Hello, Gina. Hi, Apple. Hi, Gina. Hi, Poppy. Hi, there Gina. are, I, no kidding, there have got to be like a thousand kids in my neighborhood. Wow. But I live, you know, there's there's a wall. And then there's an entrance and nobody comes in. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, we've lived, so we've lived here. So my daughter's going to be 21. We moved here when she was three. So 18, 18 years. And all the kids that she's grown up with, she actually went to school with them, obviously, because we're in the same neighborhood, right? So they're all zoned for the same school all the way from elementary school to high school. And some of them stuck around to go to college here. Some of them went off into the armed forces, you know, and then some of them went out of state, but she still keeps in contact with all of them. Like, and the, yeah, I, I wasn't scared whenever she was like, oh, can I go to the park and play when she was like seven? Sure, go ahead. We're on our street. The park is at the very end of our street. We're at the end of a cul-de-sac. So you can't go. We don't get traffic unless you live at our house or the house across the street. <laughs> we don't get we don't get traffic. And I mean, it was just fun because everybody knew each other and and all of that stuff. But now we have new people, you know, moving in and because people are downsizing, which yeah. I want to do so. <laughs> oh, it's just he can't find anything affordable, though, to downsize. That's what's sad. We are home. The van is back. Oh, Jolita. Yikes, Jolita. You need to sage, you need to sage that van. <laughs> Do something to it. It's Halloween. Go sage it. Go walk around it. Poor okay. thing. I got I got one of the best Halloween videos in my in my feed today. Nice. Reasons, okay, reasons people are going to want to go out and get a drone. If you don't already have a drone, this might be the thing that gets you to get a drone. Okay? okay. You get like a, like a scary, witchy kind of ghost costume and you put your drone in oh. it. And you fly it around, and it looks like a ghost is flying across. Funniest thing I have ever seen in my life. The people it was happening to, no, they were not having fun. They were like, oh, my God, it's a ghost run. See, I would, if I saw that, I would scream, number one. I would scream. And then number two, I'd try to pull it down. I'm like, aha, take that with your drone. <laughs> oh my God. It was so funny. But I thought that would be so cool. That like, would be fun. Like your your house, like your cul-de-sac, fly, fly a ghost around on a drone in the cul-de-sac. You'd scare the you know what. I know. Find a house and then have it come zipping out. <laughs> Especially with all the one, I know, I mean, obviously I don't know about this year though, but last year and also the year before we saw a lot of them of the people with the inflatable costumes. Yeah. You know, it's like the little, it's the little seven-year-old in the big dinosaur and just like land it, just like <laughs> land it. <laughs> oh my God, that would have been oh, so funny. That was, that was cracking me up. That was just really cracking me up. Like that was That's genius. cool though. That is like a genius thing to do with a drone. 
That is cool. That is so cool. And yes, Sherry, Texas has our first freeze warning. <laughs> it is cold. I was telling Trisha before I came up here, the temperature in this room was 63. <laughs> the rest of the house is 67. But it's it's warmed up a little bit. I felt the heat come on. So it's all good. But I'm in front of a big window. So that's why this room, plus it's over our garage. So it gets, it does, this room always stays colder. Um Always, always. Oh, we we had our first ding dong ditch over the over the weekend too. What? I'm like, this house has too many cameras for folks to do, and we know everybody. So another thing, like we know everybody, and it was the little neighbor girl that lives two houses down. It was her and her little sister. Her sister is probably three. <laughs> like she's not. <laughs> that that poor child didn't know what was going on. She was like. She was just following sister, right? She was just following her oh sister. Oh my gosh. But they they came up to the door and they were like, oh shoot, they have a camera. And then the other little girl was like, come on to her little sister, the little three-year-old. She's like, come on. And the little the little three-year-old went like and barely even heard, like the dog didn't even bark. We barely even heard it. We just got the alert. And so I sent it to her mom. I was like, look at this mess. She's like, I thought they were in bed. <laughs> like, oh god. Cuz it was like 9, it was like 9:30 at night. Heck, what? I was almost in bed. I was almost in what? 30. Drag your 3-year-old sister out at 9:30 at night. I know, and she thought they were in bed. That's what's crazy. Hello Jose. Hi, <laughs> Good to Jose. see you. Went to the Castle of Muskogee. What is that? Is it a haunted house? Why do I think that's a haunted house? It sounds kind of like a haunted house. I know. There, there's one, and I believe it's Oklahoma City, that's like super cool. <laughs> like, like super cool. We have one here, but I don't go. This folks be jumping out. <laughs> it's, the, it's the jumps, you know. You know how okay. I feel about jump scares. <laughs> It's the people jumping out. And with my mouth, I'm like, bro, you don't even have a blade on there. What are you doing? <laughs> like, and they'll chase you until they scare you. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay. The, do you know the one I'm talking about, Jolita, in Oklahoma City? There's supposed to be some really big one. I'm pretty sure it's Oklahoma City. The one here is called Parker House. But I don't trust myself. People start jumping out at me. I don't or I like I like haunted houses. They're fun. Hi Mickey. Fun. Hi Mickey. Hi they everybody. Are fun. It's just the jump thing. Well, yeah. It's just the jump. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Most, I want to see of, you coming. most of the people can't do it right anyway. They're not good at doing yeah. the jump scares. There's like, you know, there's like that one person in the haunted house that's like got the timing down, got the location down, and they'll get you and it's like oh yeah. that was fun but everybody else it's like yeah i kind of saw you over there yeah <laughs> I, I saw yeah i saw you down there <laughs> they're just not good at it but they're just there to have fun too they're just there for I the, know. for the fun so yeah it is a lot of fun i know i know they're they're fun it I is did, i scared. did go through one that was was a black light one oh, oh so cool it was all you know it all had the fluorescent paint and everything so it was was the black light now that one was darker than the typical haunted house and so oh. that one people were able to hide a little better because your because with the black light your senses were thrown off a little bit right then, right so yeah so that was that was a good one me and Geneva, same. I'm skinny to begin with. Apple <laughs> turn karate I'll... chops. <laughs> you talk about Sue and her knuckle sandwiches. There'll be a couple of them. Somebody trying to jump out at me. They get none. <laughs> no, I love, but I, mean, I love watching the people who like now you know have been going through like the universal houses and and all of that. Those are a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, Those are it's, good. I, I'll watch other people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. I'll watch other people, <laughs> but dang, 
Um, but yeah, so we watched Five Nights at Freddy. I was not a fan. Did you watch it? No, I haven't seen that yet. I was not a fan. It was one of the things where they released it where you could watch it for free, right? Well, mm -hmm. you pay for the streaming service, so it's technically not free, but they released it in theaters and where you could watch it um, on the TV at home. But yeah, I wasn't a fan. I was hoping, yeah, that's going to get me into the spirit. <laughs> it has it. I know. I haven't right. even started watching Goosebumps yet on um, Disney. That looks. Oh, yeah. That looks really good, but I haven't had a chance to start getting into that. But that's okay. I will enjoy Halloween well after Halloween. I, it doesn't end tomorrow night. It's like, nope, exactly. Nope, just keep it going. I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it after that. Exactly. And we already have the Christmas movies on the Hallmark Hallmark <laughs> channel. They're already going. <laughs> They're already going. The One of the stations had, I think it was on Friday or Thursday, they had 24 hours of Beetlejuice. So they were it, oh, they were doing wow. Beetlejuice. Oh, so wow. I watched it once. It started the second time. I was like, okay, once is a good. I'm good. This isn't Elf. Check. We don't have to be crazy and watch it three times in a exactly. row. Exactly. 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 Well, I would easily watch Elf three times in a row. Watch The Nun 2 yesterday and eight. How was The Nun? Ooh. Hi, Mary. I loved The Nun. Well, I yeah, love all those, all those, the, the Conjuring movies, but The Nun was so good. So, I ooh, I'm, I'm excited. Out. I think it just came out Friday, didn't it? I think it just did, I yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, that'll be fun for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it may take me to Christmas to watch it, because I'm telling you, it's got to be broad daylight noon <laughs> before you try to per turn on. <laughs> oh, okay. what what did my husband Yeah, if you don't on? like scary movies, don't watch The Nun. Yeah. It's, it's oh. kind of scary. Right. There was one, and it was something, it was some files that just came out on Netflix, and it was, supposed, it was based on a true story. They had the, all the recordings and all this stuff. We tried to watch that, but the people they're playing the real recording right and that it was happened in like england i think in the 70s um and it was a real life haunting so they would play the the recording while the actor was lip syncing the words like they weren't speaking them but i was like what in the milli vanilli are we watching here their mouth the, the words are matching like it was so distracting and i could not get into it I could not. And my husband was looking at me the whole time. I was like, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> what in the Millie Vanilli? That's what I told him. Oh, I was like, what in the Millie Vanilli is going on with this movie? God, I don't even remember what it was called. I didn't care that much. It was something files or something. But it was supposed to be about a real haunting, and the, it was all the real tapes and all of this stuff. I was like, cool, let's watch that. Hey, Becky. Hey, Sunshine. Hi, Cindy. Oh, we're, you know, you get me and Trisha on a scary movie kick <laughs> or on a movie kick. I know. And Becky, I, I, no, I, I wasn't taught. I was, I was tired and I, I kind of, actually for my time, I kind of crashed early, but it was nice to see you with, with Kathy and, and Leanne on Sunday. That was nice. Nice. That was nice to see you. But yeah, I was just on kind of radio silence because I was getting worn out and well, just trying to get some stuff done. My Stephanie, Stephanie, I drank hot you know cocoa what? out of my Canada mug today. Oh, the nun mm -hmm. is historically based on Catholic school memories. Well, there's. It seems like oh. there's, um, like all of the Conjuring movies and stuff. There have been because of the cases that that couple worked on. Oh, the Warrens. Um, yeah, the Warrens. Yeah, it's like there's some, you know, kind of accuracy just because they were involved in them. So. Yeah, and they taped and the well audio and videotaped a lot of their stuff mm -hmm. too. 
So from what I heard anyway, mm -hmm. Stephanie, I was thinking of you when I was drinking out of it today too. I love it. <laughs> it's perfect. Perfect. All right, guys, let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead and start a sale. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> All right, I am going to pull over Trisha, let her tell you about herself, her channel. I'm going to grab her channel link as well, because uh, please, she hit 2K on Friday. Let's keep her there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep her there. That's the goal this week. Let's keep her there. Okay, That's so true. Mm -hmm. So true. Um, yeah. But yeah, and thank you to everyone who was helping out on Friday. Uh, getting your family members and, and everything to uh, subscribe. I appreciate it. And yeah, it was great to hit 2000 and uh, we'll see if it takes another two years to get to 3000. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it won't. I don't need, I don't need a fast growing channel because I've got all of you. Awesome. Awesome people. So. Um, Aww. yeah. And uh, yeah, so I do lunchtime sales Monday through Friday, except on Wednesdays where we start just a little bit earlier and we're on Jen's channel and, uh, we do double sale on Wednesday, which is at 11 AM Eastern and 4 PM Eastern this week. Our guest is two old Martin. guys, Mark yep. and Michael. Okay. Nailed it. <laughs> Trying to remember. <laughs> I know it's so hard. <laughs> and then on Friday nights at seven, you know, it's the Sue Spezio show and Saturday night, late night sale. Okay. I was expecting to be honest. I was expecting a lot more of you there on my Saturday night, late night sale with Kathy Picasso cat. I kept looking, I kept looking for you and I don't think you were there. Um, so this week, my guest is going to be uh, Denise from Denise's Magical Emporium. So write it on your calendar, make a note on your phone, join us 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday night. Nice. How do you guys decide who you bring on your Wednesday show? Well, we beg, first off. And if they, <laughs> no, I can't have them draw short straws and whoever got the shortest straw. A short straw club. No, it, it's just people that we've done sales with before. If someone's interested, let us know. You, I mean, if, if to me, <laughs> to me, it's easier to start out whenever there is a double sale because. You, you do the first sale, then you have a little break in between, and then you do the second sale, and it's kind of a fun day. <laughs> it's, it kind of a, it's kind of a fun day. So, hey, if anybody's interested, shoot us an email. You know, we're always looking okay. for people. <laughs> you don't have to beg, I'm sure. Be Becky. <laughs> we don't beg. We were like, okay. No, no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, I'm going to pull myself over. All right. Hi, guys. Happy Monday. It's been two whole days since I've seen y'all, except in the chats. I've seen y'all in the chats. <laughs> but hi, guys. <laughs> um, if you are unfamiliar with me or if you are unfamiliar with my channel, I am Janine. Welcome. Thank you for coming today. Um, I ship from Texas, but my camera's off. There we go. I ship. I couldn't point. That's how I knew the camera was off. I ship. <laughs> I ship from Texas. Um, I invoice twice a week. I invoice on Wednesday evenings and then again, either Friday night or Saturday, depending on how many um, I get done on Friday. Uh, so uh, myself and Trisha both use Pirate Ship to get you the cheapest shipping rate possible. Mm -hmm. uh, we both invoice through PayPal. If you um, are not subscribed, please do so now. Um, it's free. It's my four, my favorite four-letter F word, free. <laughs> it helps my channel, um, but it is also the way that you're going to bid. Um, I do have it set up. You have to be subscribed for one minute. That's just to keep all the bots and the spammers away. It works, so I have kept that in effect. Um, but if you are wanting to bid, you will need access to the chat um, in order to do that. Uh, so I like to kind of 
throw that out there before we get started selling, because if you wait until you see an item that you are in love with, <laughs> and then you subscribe, one minute is a long time in live sale world. So um, we do we do ask that you do that now, <laughs> just to get it out of the way, get that minute out of the way. Hello, Mary Beth. Hi, Jan. <laughs> Good to see you. The second thing that I like to mention is if you have not purchased from me before, I do have a job form that is pinned to the top of the chat. That form will ask you for your real name, your YouTube name, your mailing address, and your PayPal email address, which are the four pieces of information I need to send you an item if you are to win an item today. You only need to fill out that form one time. It is a safe and secure form. It is password protected, and I'm the only one that has the password. So your information is safe with me, rest assured. <laughs> She's um, not giving up her password. Nope. You'll never guess. What? <laughs> no, I, no, I actually have where an Apple picks my passwords for me because they're hard. I don't even, I'm like, oh man, <laughs> if I accidentally didn't save one, they're hard. Um, but shipping prices are not included in the price of the item. Um, I try to remember to, to mention that, but shipping prices are not included. So that is, that is separate. Um, but because we don't invoice tomorrow, <laughs> you have a chance to build up a box with us. Um, we do a lot of sales a week. <laughs> we do a lot of sales a week. So it uh, gives you plenty of time to build up a box. A spooky cold Halloween Eve. Yeah, we're 48. 48 is what my computer's saying, but it's windy. So with the wind chill, I don't know what it is. It's cold for Texans. <laughs> it's 48 degrees right now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's 52 here because <laughs> we already had the cold. We oh, yeah. down to you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you. We were done with it. We sent you it were done. We were done. <laughs> you had your fill of it, did you? That's right. It's just like, there you go. Oh, my God. Snow. No. Oh, yeah. Nebraska and Colorado got snow, too. I was like, oh, no, <laughs> not already. It's crazy. Crazy, but it'll probably be back to 90s by Thanksgiving. But all right, we're going to start the sale, guys. I know y'all are here for a sale, so let's get started. We are going to start with Trisha. I know it's it's not every day when the northern states are warmer than Texas. All right. <laughs> 50 in Tennessee. Poppy, it's 45 where Poppy is in Texas. Wow. Yeah, I think we were, I think they think it might get to 54 today. So it's it's a pretty nice day. Oh, wow. That is nice. Um, all right. I am going to start $5 for the Scooby fans out there. I've got a notebook. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Notes, love him. notes and doodles. I love it. Yeah. This is, this is a little Hallmark book. It's from 2000. So it's vintage. Ooh. And it's got a nice spiral top. It's got more Scooby. <laughs> and let's see on the back. Oh, and Scooby's done. He's walking away. Oh. Uh, this is really nice and thick and kind of that, like, it's not laminated, but, you know, it feels like it's kind of laminated. So, yeah, nice rule notebook. Keep all your important stuff in for all of the Scooby fans out there. Lots of pages. There's 150 pages in here. So that's a lot. Two-sided. That's what 300 pages that'd be great for a kid like to put in their stocking and stuff because all the kids like to draw on everything and color and like that would be so right. cute right and if you're getting them you know glitter pens or colored pencils or anything then yeah they can totally doodle in here and have fun and i mean yeah so many people like scooby so five dollars for the scooby little notebook from Hallmark. It's so cute. 
All right. So my next item is a Tupperware item. It's actually seven different bowls. So what I'll do is we'll go $7 for the seven bowls. If nobody wants all the bowls, then we'll do a dollar each if you have a color preference. But I'm going to tell you what the colors are because there's seven different colors. May not look like it, but there are. Um, so this one is white and it does say Tupperware on the bottom, made in USA. It's got all the patent numbers on it. Hi, Sharon. So it's got, that one is white. This one is off-white. And I know it's really hard to tell the difference because it's my ring light. It's not, it's not going to show the difference. When you get them in person, you will be able to see the difference between the white and the off-white. This is a light yellow. This is a deeper yellow. And we've got green. Oh, thank you, Jan. Jan, thank when you. I just... I've got you for the Scooby. Thank you, Jan. So we have the green, we have the blue, and pink. So there are seven different colors, but when you put them like this at all, they, they start kind of looking alike. Although you can kind of see that little bit of difference between the mm -hmm. white and the off-white there. A little bit. But yeah, really nice Tupperware bowls. Love these. They're, they're so handy. And we will go ahead and count that down for Sharon. All right. So going once, going twice, and sold to Sharon. Thank you. Congratulations, Sharon. And congratulations, Jan, for the book. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. I've got another Tupperware item. This one's going to start at 10. And it is the shaker. So it's got the insert in it. So you fill that full of whatever it could be for a shake it could be for a smoothie it could be for gravy you can use it for all kinds of things shake it up it's going to go through that section and then you can pour it out or drink it right out of there uh, this one was still in its little plastic um like little bag thing and it does have a pretty new plastic smell to it so I don't think this was ever used. The top is in fantastic condition. And it's got the Tupperware mark on it. This is great. Just ready to mix up whatever it is you've got in there. And then here is the inside. So in fantastic condition. And that is the Tupperware shaker mixer doodad. We um, we always had our tang in that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you would need to shake that up. Yeah. <laughs> shake that up a lot. All right. So that one, $10. And we'll bring that back for the speed round. Okay. And those were my three items. All right. So I will pull myself over. All right, guys. My first item is going to start at $15. I know it sounds high, uh, but it is brand new in the package. And it is a blanket. We're all cold, y'all. We are cold. And it is a coverlet right here. Let's see authentic handmade so here's the back i have not taken it out of the plastic 
So here are the colors, very pretty fall colors. Um, there is orange, a little bit of yellow, two tones of orange on here. And this one is large. It says approximately 76 by 96. Oh, that is a good size. Yeah, 76 by 96. Right there. And That's again, here. Big enough for two people. Oh, movie night. Yeah. <laughs> movie night. Put this on your couch. But I'm trying to, I know the plastic, it's in plastic, but I'm trying to get these colors um, to show up as, as best as I can for you guys. But this is my lar largest item. So I figure I might as well start with that and get it out of the way. <laughs> Get it out of the way before everything else, but maybe you can see. Oh, that's probably even better right there. It has amazing. This would be great for just for your couch. Put it on. A, I know I have a blanket ladder in my living room. Um, that would be so cute on the blanket, just hanging over the blanket ladder. There. Yeah, great fall colors. Um, and it says... Made in Bethlehem, PA, moth proof, non piling, mildew, mildew proof, non allergenic. On oh, here. And Sharon is in at 15. Thank you, Sharon. 76 by 90. That's Is that a queen size? I don't know why I think that's a queen size. Maybe. Hello, mm. Susan. Good to see you. But at least it's one I didn't have to measure. <laughs> right there. All right. If Sharon is the only one interested at 15 for the authentic handmade coverlet in its package, we will count it down. So going once. Going twice. And sold to Sharon for $15. Congratulations, nice. Sharon. It is coming to you. Thank you so much. Oh, I didn't highlight it. That's One. such a great size. Yeah, it's so cool. It's so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. All right. My next item is going to start at $10 choice. I have two of the same purses. Uh, one is brown. One is black. Um, I actually got these, they even both the same style, um, as well. So I have a brown and then I have a black, um, and it's hard for me to tell the colors. So this one is brown right here. This one is a black, um, the gentleman that I bought these from, um, actually was selling it for a, um, a group and it is a group of veterans that they make these purses and they are made out of leather he said um leather purses um to raise funds for the wounded veterans so i thought that was kind of cool Very um so nice. i bought they had two colors so i bought one of each <laughs> but i bought one of each right here it does have that strap these have never been used Never been used at all. So we have a choice right here. That one, it was the black one. This is the brown one. Open it, show you the inside. Nicely made. I know. Like, that's, even that's good quality. Even the stitching on like the back and stuff. Mm hmm. And I like the handles as well. Let me close that. I like the handles as well, how they put them together. Looks really cool. Apple is in a 10. Thank you. Yes, Jose, because they were because they're handmade. But it does have like a vintage 70s. 
<laughs> vintage 70s little little vibe to it. Oh, there you can see the here's the black and then here is the brown. All right, if Apple is the only one interested, we can count these down for Apple and then Apple can just let me know which one or one she would like. Wait, are yes, the guy told me that they are leather, that they were made from leather. Let me try to see if I can Open it up a little bit. Oh, that's too dark. It's the inside of that one. That one is the brown. And then this one is the black. Right there. All right, we will count it down. Going once, <laughs> going twice, and sold to Apple. And Apple would like the black purse. All right, yes. Apple. Mm -mm. Got you down. Let me make sure I grab the because <laughs> they both look so similar. Yeah, this is black. All right, so I still have the brown one available for $10 if anyone is interested in this one. If not, I will bring it back for the speed round right there. <clears throat> and my last item this round is going to start at $5. It's just going to start at $5. Hello, Sandy. Right here. And I have a Pier 1 bottle stopper. Hi, Zeus. Good to see you. Hi, Lucinda. Uh, I have a Pier 1, and Becky would like the brown purse. Yes, ma'am. I got you down. Let me write that down. Becky's vintage and more. All right. I got you down, Becky. Thank you so much. They're really neat, and I, I even love the story, the story behind them, or why they make them. All right, I got you, Becky. Thank you so much. Uh, I have a Pier 1 little bottle stopper right here. And this is, uh, it looks like mercury glass. I'm thinking it's probably just made to look like that. Um, but this is, it's so pretty. I couldn't leave it. It is in its original box right here. And I just love the look of it. This would be so pretty at Christmas to give this as a gift with a bottle of wine or some champagne. It kind of reminds me of the tree toppers <laughs> as well. Oh, you're getting it for your mom, Becky. That'd be so cool. Let's see. It says, I'm pretty sure. Let me see if there's... Oh, it's like, it's sealed, so it's never been opened. I was, I was going to open it to take it out <laughs> right there. But here is the wine stopper. Again, it's going to be $5, and it's really large. Um, it is about seven and a half inches tall and about two inches wide. So seven and a half by two, $5 if anyone is interested. If not, we can pass on this and... Those were my three, so I am going to move back over. Trisha, thank you, everyone. Okay. There we go. Uh, oh, so uh, I'm going to have a $7 start on this. Right. <clears throat> this is a beautiful hand-painted little dish. It is plastic. It's it's a really hard plastic. It has something on the bottom. I am not sure what any of that is. Numbers, letters. Um, it is three and a half across and one and a half deep. So one and a half, three and a half beautifully hand painted hi doug hi doug doug i 
I don't know, Doug. Did you see the one she just had? Did I see Jeannie's crafted? I know. Did you see it? She had an afghan. You missed it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Here is the inside. This is like some kind of a felt inside there. It's got a really pretty edge to it. And that one is $7 for the little trinket box, little jewelry box. And that was, oh, what was it? Three, three and a half inches across. There we go. Okay. Uh, next up, I have got for $8 a okay. single metal candle holder. So it's going to take a skinnier candle, not your average taper size. That's going to go in there. And then it's going to like kind of thread through right here. Um, I just had a pen. Oh, here. So your candle's going to look like this, kind of going through the, the little twisty vines when you put it in there. It's all made out of metal. And it does say, I think, made in Taiwan. Yeah. So it's an older piece. It is made in Taiwan. It's got the, you know, I think it's made to have the patina on it. Hi, Thomas. Look at Thomas. Hello. And it is <laughs> nice and tall. And when you put a candle through it, it is going to come kind of right up here, right around this little bend and right in there. And it does have these beautiful leaves on it as it kind of spirals up. I'll show you the back and it's all made out of metal. And it is... Let's see. So it stands about 12 inches tall. And that is $8 for the candle holder. And then I'm going to have a $10 start on a Jim Shore cat. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> that is oh, so yeah. pretty. Bethany's in it, 10. Heck yeah, girl. You know, that's so cute. Nancy's in it, 12. It does have the Jim Shore tag on it from 2006. And I'll show you his cute little face. His whiskers need a little, you know, a little readjusting. Pretty green eyes. And you definitely could use that as like a, a Christmas ornament. He was really cool. And uh, thank you, Bethany. Thank you, Nancy. And we will count that down for Bethany. All right. I know Mary Beth. I love his face too. <laughs> so cute. So going once. Going twice. And sold to Bethany. Thank you, Bethany. Thank you, Nancy. That's so pretty. And those were my three items. All right. I'm going to pull myself over. Um, my first item is going to start at $10, and I have an oil lamp. Um, it, is, uh, it is stamped Made in Hong Kong. 
um, on the bottom, but it has really pretty like reds and greens with this amber base right here. So yeah, here is the bottom. It says made in Hong Kong. Here's the top. It does still have a little wick in there. It does turn. Let's see. You can see it going up, going down. And I like the size of it because it's manageable, right? <laughs> it's not like four million, four million inches tall. <laughs> so it's eight inches tall. And then it is about, about three inches wide, about three inches wide on the bulbous part right here. I do. And yeah, I'm going to make Tony a sweater. Let's hold our breath, everyone. Hold our breath. Patty Rose is in at 10. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi, Patty. Hi, Patty. Good to see you. And again, I like the colors. I do like the colors that are in it. It's so pretty and different and different. I have another one coming up uh, next, actually, um, that I see more often than this one. So if Patty is the only one interested, we will count it down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Patty Rose for $10. Congratulations, Patty. It is coming to you. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. My next one is going to be another oil lamp. It is starting at $10. Um, and I'm calling this a flowered one. It's more like a milk glass. Uh, I know my, my light is just going to blow this out. So I'm going to try to come in closer, but it has these pretty, um, little roses going around it, around the top and, um, the bottom right here. And again, it is, this one is milk glass, so it will, it'll match <laughs> with a lot more, um, decor <laughs> that just that and patty is in at 10 here is the inside i do not see a wick so let me just try to raise it and then see if one pops up yep there's a wick in there there is one in there it started coming up right there hello harry good to see you <laughs> but does it glow let me check let me check no markings on the bottom. Well, the flowers glow. We're just looking a little, it just goes pink. Just goes pink. So that's just the black light relax, reacting to that white. No, it didn't check ring of fire. Nope, not seeing a ring of fire. And this one is eight inches as well by about three inches. So eight by three right there and if patty rose is the only one interested at ten dollars we will count it down going once how have you been harry i feel like i hadn't seen you in a minute going twice and sold to patty rose for ten dollars congratulations patty it's coming to you <laughs> thank you very cute so cute. I love them. If I didn't already have a milk glass one, I probably would have kept that one, but I already have one. All right, of course. Is it a hot nail? <laughs> it is. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My last item this round is uh, going to start at $8. And y'all, I just got this because of the lips. You're, you'll see. Look at the lips. Look at those lit. That says Jen Eads all day on it. So I had to buy it. But it's it's very beaded. <laughs> it, it is a very beaded. Um, these are like marbles. So he has two marbles for his eyes. And you can move those around. But two marbles. This would be so cute to put if you have a mermaid bathroom. Um, or if you just have um, like a fish tank. This would be kind of cool to put on top of the fish tank. But it is all these little um, beads wrapped around a wire. And he's large. <laughs> like this is a large, a large little fishy here. All right. So it measures... 
You've got Noel in it, eight. Thank you, Noel. Uh, it measures eight inches long by about six inches tall. So eight by six. It's it's a big in. It's a big in. A puffer fish. <laughs> I like the colors they use too. I thought it was so cool. But it was just the lips. I was like, if that don't say Jenny's, if I didn't need a new mascot <laughs> right there. All right. If Noel is the only one interested in the fish, hello, Carrie Ann. Good to see you. <laughs> All right. Noella won't fit under the bed. <laughs> she, Noella will wear it as a hat. It's all good. It's all good, Patty. <laughs> all right, so going once. <laughs> going twice. And sold to Noelle for $8. Congratulations, Noelle. It is coming to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was fun. I think it's it's quirky. It's fun. It's me. All right. That was my three, so I am going to pull back over, Trisha. Okay. So I've got another Tupperware item. Ooh. So I have eight of these parfait containers. I don't know if anybody is going to want all eight of them, but they're going to be $2 each. So if anybody wants all eight, that's going to be $16 for all three of, all three, all eight of them, <laughs> the other three. <laughs> the other three. <laughs> but here's the inside. The lid is marked Tupperware. Oops, upside down. The lid is marked Tupperware and on the bottom, there it is. It is marked Tupperware on the bottom. They are a gray color and they're, you know, parfait desserts. You know how everybody loves a parfait. I don't know when the last time anybody ever made a parfait was. <laughs> but you can use it for, you know, fruit. You can use it for a layered pudding. You can use it for all kinds of things. And I think this bottom pops out. Maybe, maybe not. But if nobody wants all eight of them, they are $2 each. And if you would like two of them, let me know. Because I can do, I can break up the set. Eight is a lot. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out this whole bath time thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> Love it. And, and okay, Bethany is claiming four of them. Thank you, Bethany. Oh, there we go. So I do have then four more available. If anybody would like two, three, four, uh, let me know. But yeah, nice Tupperware for any time you want to just store a little something, pop it in the refrigerator. There you go. All right. Next item is going to start at $10. And I had to look up what this one was for. Although, after looking it up, I'm still not convinced that that's what it's for. Um, they say that this Tupperware container is a cheese and crackers. Although, it looks to me like a block of cheese would go in there. So, I'm not yeah. exactly sure. But it's an open container. It's got a tray. So whatever you store in there, you're going to pull it out with the tray. Um, I've seen some people label it as like Velveeta. 
I'll bet a, a block of Velveeta oh. would fit on there. Um, but okay. if you, yeah, if you wanted to, you know, put sliced cheese in there, that would store. But it is marked with the Tupperware right there. And on the back, there is Tupperware. Oh, I thought you were sitting next to me, Joe. <laughs> he got down and I didn't even <laughs> notice. Sorry, Joe, I didn't notice you were gone. He's like, oh. It's a little, well, I guess if you had, ooh, if you had the little like deli, you know, like the the bread they serve in the deli department for like your little appetizers. That's that little smaller oh, block yeah, of bread. Yeah. That would that could fit in there. But yeah, so whatever you want to use it for, um, you know, it could be for a block of cheese, could be for you know, stand up some cheese and crackers in here. But that one is $10 for that Tupperware container. Okay, and then we're going to get really creative here with this next one. And I have, I have a few of these. And I have two different styles. And I have three different colors. Hi, where are you going? You want to say hi to everybody? All right, here, let me move this one. Okay, there's room. You want to say hi to everybody? Hi, there Joe. Hi, Joe. I don't know how he knows. I don't know how he knows. Hi, Edward. So this is, yep, paper plate holder and a cup holder. But I have two different styles. So this one is open on the bottom. So this one, maybe for if you're using those nice chinette ones where it's not going to soak through the bottom. There is that. It's really thick plastic. And I have these wonderful little cards that go with each of them. So fabulous. Look at that for parties picnics indoor or out there you go so the choices are the kind of avocado green oh now you're going to make it hard for me to reach around you and uh so these are going to be basically two dollars each if anybody's interested two dollars each so i have five of the avocado green so five of those. Joe, why don't you just stay down? That would be so much easier for me. I have the mustard yellow. I have four of these. So again, your paper plate's going to go right on top there. So four of the mustard yellow. Then I have some that don't have a hole here. They're a solid piece. So your paper plate can go right on top there. In this one, I have one in red and five in avocado green. So, you know, Christmas. Mm. There you go. Thanksgiving. You get the, the green and the, the yellow in there. So $2 each for these awesome vintage styles. <laughs> they, they do love to be right in the middle. <laughs> And they're pretty easy to hold on to also. So if you're using them and you have a drink in, you know, a drink in one side and your plate on the other, pretty easy to hold on to all of that. 
And I mean, look at that great, like a faux wood grain on there. Very cool. So there are six of the solid ones. And of the six solid ones, five of them are green and one is red. And then there are nine. Let's see, nine of the ones that have the hole in them. So there it is with the hole. And of those nine, um, five of them are the mustard yellow and six of them are green. And those are $2 each. And those are my three items. All right. You can take that off. All right. I will move my son until you run into Cujo. <laughs> Cujo don't even care. <laughs> like, oh. I'm 60 pounds. Let me sit in your lap. All right. My first item. Oh, uh, Patty would like five green solid, please. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. That is all of the green solid. Thank you. Yay, Patty. Appreciate that, Patty. All right. My first item is going to start at $8 and I have a little mini tea set. Um, it's going to come with three plates, two cups, a cream and a sugar. And I will show you, uh, they do say made in Japan on the back, but it's like this little Jack in the box guy is the little design on them. So there's again, three plates, two of the little cups. Let's see if that'll focus. Same design, obviously. It's not focusing. Let me see. Right there. And then here is the creamer. Look how little that is. That is <laughs> it's tiny. A, it's a little creamer. And then they, you know, obviously marked it made in Japan. Um, and then here is the little sugar. With a little mushroom <laughs> lid. I know. <laughs> At first, I was like, um, I don't know if that lid goes on there, but it does. I did. I was able to find the same set. So here are all the pieces together. There we go. That so is cream, really cute. Sugar, three plates. And then the two cups. I know, right? Very elf looking. Yeah. Very elf looking for sure. It's so cute. Let's see. Now let me set them down gently. <laughs> and I'll show you. I'll try to measure um, the little plates because they're kind of tiny, but they're just the ch child's tea sets. So about an inch and three quarter round. An inch and three quarter round. I was trying to put my hand like that. See, if, there we go. So three of those. We have a cup. The cup is about an inch, about an inch tall. And then the creamer is about, oh, it's the cutest, about half an inch, <laughs> half an inch. And then the creamer. Lidded creamer is about an inch and a half, but that lid kind of helps it a little bit <laughs> on that. All right. $8 for all the pieces. If there is no interest, we can pass on these. And this is the box I bought them in. So I kind of just been keeping them in there because they're safe. They're safe in there. All right. There is the mini tea set. We're passing on that one. My next item is going to start at $8 as well. Um, I have this super cute little towel bar. Um, and it is a puppy. It is wooden right there. It is vintage. Look at his face. It reminds me of the dog from um, um, 
the little rascals. <laughs> Almost. Oh, and Patty Rose would like the tea set. Thank you, Patty. I got you. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I missed that. Thank you. I will set it over here. Oh, she said, please send to Lucinda. Send to Lucinda. All right, will do. Let me make note of that. To Lucinda. All right, I got it. Thank you so much. I love a good gift alert. <laughs> Thank you. All right, back to the towel bar hook. I guess it's very thin. It's very light as well. I just love the look of it. I thought it was so fun. You could put leashes on here if you wanted to. There's no maker. Um, no maker. I just love the look of it. Put put your um, dish towel on here. <laughs> I thought it would be so cute. So I will measure it. It measures eight and a half inches tall and is about nine and a half inches wide. Eight and a half by nine and a half. And this would be $8. Oh, that's so true, Patty. <laughs> it's too cute to stay in a box. I know, that's cute. All right, if there's no interest on the puppy, we will pass on this one. And then my next one is also a rack. Um, it is called um, a whatnot rack. Right here. So there is a split right here in the wood. So it needs a little piece of um, wood glue. But I love the graphics on it. Um, and I didn't want to leave it. Um, so you can hang your aprons right there. What does that say? Wind Cave North, Wind Cave National Park. Oh, yeah. so this was a souvenir. I did not even see that with my naked eye, but I see it right here. But it's a whatnot rack, so you can use it for ties, dog leashes, aprons, whatever. And here is the back. This is where it needs to be glued, right there. And I will measure it. So it measures. 11 inches long by about three inches tall. So 11 by three. So $8 if anyone is interested in the whatnot rack. Aww. All right. If there's no interest in this, we will pass. And those were my three. So I am going to pull back over Trisha. All right, so I have a couple of music boxes for choice. Ooh. Gonna be eight dollars choice. Okay, they are porcelain. Let me get in here so you can see porcelain heads, porcelain hands, and her nails are painted. Ooh, that's hard to get in there. This one is like a black velvet. It's a really pretty, like a little black velvet with a, not quite satin, but kind of made to look like satin. Very jester-like. And then this one is Christmassy. So it's got Santa and bells and Christmas. And then up here you've got more Santa, uh, also a porcelain head and porcelain hands. And in order not to get a copyright strike, I will do these, but we'll talk over them and I'll probably have both of them going at the same time. So the songs will kind of counteract each other, but they do move on their own. Um, let's get that going. So there we go. So the songs will cancel each other out. Now she in the black and gold kind of moves a little more. But the little Christmas one does move a little slower. But yeah, they move around. They're music boxes. And this one with all the fun little Christmas decorations on it. 
and here is the back of the head. This one's very ornate. Nothing really written on the bottom. Let's see, this one says, I think, Maiden. Oh, actually, what does that say, Maiden? We will see here. This one is Made in Taiwan. So a little older one, Made in Taiwan, probably the early 80s on this one. Got a little cutout ribbon around the neck. A little pearl bead there. Some gold rickrack. So Christmassy. And then this one is all of the black velvet. So $8 choice on the music boxes. That, and they do move. This one is made in China. This one, this one's made in Taiwan. Okay, then I have a candle. Yes, it's finally cooled off. And uh, so I am bringing out some candles. Uh, this one is going to start at $15. And it is the Bathing Beauties candle. So I'll show you the top. There is the wick. It is a pillar candle. And this fabulous design is across the front here. All of these lovely gals from the 1920s. And I will spin that around again so you can get a good look at it. So they've got their little bathing tents where they can do their changing. They're fun little 1920s swimsuits. On the bottom, this one is marked a three inches by six inch bathing beauty pillar. And that one is $15. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> okay, and then I am going to have $5 choice. Okay. And I've got some noisemakers for the upcoming holidays. And the first one. I'm going to get it out of the way. It's kind of a clown. So I'm going to get it, get this one out of the way. But there he is. He's pretty cool looking. He's cool looking. He's the... There you go. You really got to get that thing going to make some noise. Tin, tin noisemaker. So your choice... Five dollars. There's the first one. Here is the second one, like the dancing New Year's couple. Made in USA. And this one, you that one makes a lot of noise. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Then we got this one. Ooh, we got a like a pirate or gypsy dancing. And on this side, you've got like the Harlequin couple. And this one goes. Oh, I like the sound of that one. It's kind of like a chime almost. It's got a few different sound yeah. in there. So there is that one. And, oh, there it is. The. Made in USA mark on it. And then the last one is one of these. And you've got, oh, you got the Can Can Girl. 
Look at the great guys in their band. Oh, well, you can't see her head. That was unfortunate to put it. It why didn't they? Why didn't they put it off center? A I little know, bit? right? Denise, you're good. You you're wherever channel you're on, you're good. We can see you. Yeah, we can see both chats. It's all good. And then there is the fun little band. They make a lot of noise. You I know. <laughs> and they've got wood handles. So well, that's got a red painted wood handle. This one's got a wood handle. And yep, that one has a wood handle also. So yeah, get them all going here. Luckily, my neighbor's not home. <laughs> that would be a party for sure. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, we had Janet at seven, Denise is in at eight. Oh my goodness. But yeah, that one's fun with all like the little bubbles. Hi, Hi Aaron. Hat tip, my friend. Good to see you. Hi, guys. I like that. That's got the band in the background. I guess it's dinner theater, right? The club yeah, where, where there's like dinner and the band. <laughs> you see them in the movies, but you never see them in person. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then this one with the kind of clown-like guy. And then that's got wood, um, wood balls on it for making the sound. You really got to get that one going. That's dangerous. It's like those, pat remember the paddle balls? Yeah. <laughs> On the string? <laughs> but the graphic is pretty cool on that one. It is a great graphic for sure. Okay, so we've got Jan in at nine. Denise is having is at 10 and yeah I am having fun. How could you not? <laughs> That's the whole point of these, right? To have fun. Made in USA. This one is the other hard one to get that going. Oops. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> and that Jan one's is in at 11. The dancing couple. And oh, that one does have a clown. Ooh. Sorry, Doug. That one did have a clown. That one's got a little band guy. And then there is the clown. Kind of a clown. But each yeah, one gra different graphics on it. Yeah. Yeah. And they're in great condition, too. Like the graphic doesn't look all faded. And mm -hmm. yeah, because again, these are another item. Nobody thought in 2023 we would still be having these around. And Jan is at 13. Oh. <laughs> how do you turn off? Oh, I don't know how to turn that off. I don't know how to either. I'm sorry. I wish I was. <laughs> I use my phone to answer calls. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> call, like, I'm not very tech savvy. <laughs> Krista? Hi, Krista. Denise is at 15. And guys, these are for choice. Jan is in at 16. 
Do we need the IT guy? I know. <laughs> if something's wrong with my phone, I just hand it to him. He's like, what'd you do? I was like, I don't know. So I press something. Now it don't work. Denise is at 18. <laughs> the cats are looking at me like, are you still making that noise? I'm going to go upstairs. <laughs> like, Forget it. I'm going upstairs. It's quieter up here. Jan is at 19. And I didn't see if... <laughs> um, Pat, I didn't see if Patty was in or out. Denise is out. Let me look again. I'm going to scroll back up to see if Patty put it out because she probably did and I'm just missing it. Oh, she just did. Just did. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was scrolling up. No, it's all good, Patty. All right. So we are going to count it down for Jan and Jan can let us know which one or ones she would like. It sounds like a boost job yesterday. They're trying to get them. Oh. All right. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Goes. Congratulations, Jan. Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Denise. So we've got the round one. We'll call that the round one. This one is the spinner. We've got the clown. And I don't know, a cylinder. That doesn't really make it make it any easier. Hammer me? I mean, <laughs> I just, that looks just, like, that looks I, like a hammer. I know. Hammer, the clown. And Jan would like all. All of them. Yay, Jan. Congrats. Thank you, Jan. That makes it even that much easier. It does. <laughs> all right. And that was my third item. Thank you. All right. I congratulations. That was fun to watch, guys. And it was fun to see <laughs> the item too. So all right. My first item is going to start at eight dollars. And I have a um, a little glass bud vase right here. And it is, I know my, my light, it, this is a smoky gray. It's gotten a little darker here. So I'm going to try to see if you guys can see that. Um, because it does have some control. There we go. Well, if I do that, you can see it. It does have some controlled bubbles in here as well so this bottom is a smoky gray and then you have the clear the clear bud vase um right there I so just this had almost identical to that on saturday night oh yeah with the smoky bottom and i put i put my flashlight on it because it did the same <laughs> thing it was dark and you couldn't see the bubbles yeah i know uh, so it's eight inches tall and about two and a quarter inches wide. You gotta um, see the bubbles. They're so cool. I know. It's just so hard to put it underneath. That's what I was doing. I, I put it. I oh, put it on yeah. There. Game changer. Game changer. <laughs> um, but what's cool about this is I actually have the original box that it came in. Um, so, nice. um, this one is the smoked, colored smoke, eight inch oh. vase. Cool. So I actually have the box um, that it came in uh, because I bought a couple of the, I think three of them um, whenever we were in Nebraska. Um, and they all three had the, had the, um, had the box to them. I've never seen the box. Now I've had these before in different colors. 
but I had never mm -hmm. seen the box. No. Paperweight I... bud vase is what we used to call those. Well, that makes sense because this is a, a thick chunk of glass right here um, mm -hmm. at the bottom. And again, I'll put the light. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Stop it, light. I'll put the light back underneath here so that way you can see it. It's really pretty, really pretty. And again, I have the box. <laughs> so they made them in several different colors, right? So there's a blue. Oh, distributed by Woolworth Company, New York. Nice. Made in China. But Woolworth, I mean, it's been a minute <laughs> since Woolworth. It has, has been a minute. Been around. Um, not seeing any other writing on here no i don't see any other any other writing but green red clear i actually think i have a red red one but all right not seeing any interest in this so it's going back in the box <laughs> so, so that way i don't mess it up and it's double boxed which what i like it is double boxed all right we're gonna pass on that Right there. And then my next item I thought was really cool. Um, it is a wax mold. It's going to start at $8 as well. So I'm going to leave that up. Um, but it is a wax mold right here. And it does have a little, little bit of a string where you could hang it up. Um, but it's safe to ship this now, <laughs> or this week anyway. Next week, I don't know, may not be, but um, it has a little couple on here. I'm going to try to come in. I'm not sure who made it. Right there, but it looks cool. There's no markings on the back, and it's like a dark brown wax. I think this would just be cool just hanging up. Or you can make something with it. I don't know. I just like the look of it. So it measures five and three quarter inches long by three inches wide. Made in China and Woolworths, not Sweden, is confusing. Made by... Oh, the yeah, the there's, a, there's another like the design I had on Saturday night. The the top part of it is different. Mine, I think, is the Swedish one. That one is made a little later, made in China. And then the, the vase part is just a little configured a little differently. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm not seeing any interest in the wax mold, so we will pass on that. And then my last item this round is going to start at $10. They were controlled, Sunshine. That's they were they were pretty controlled. I'm telling you. Here yeah. we go again. Here we go. I'll show you. I'll show you. Because I can actually see it with my eye. Yeah, they look like they're all lined up pretty they nicely. Are. They are. I'm going to try to focus that. Yeah, they're very nicely done. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. My last item this round is going to start at $10. No, that's a beautiful vase. Yeah. All right. Hey, $10, and I have a perfume bottle. Uh, this one is small, um, and it is like a pink and rose gold right here. And it has little cutouts. Oh, oh. Noelle would like the wax mold. I got you, Noelle. Thank you. I will set it over here. Yeah, it's really cool. And I'm not afraid to ship it. I don't think it'll melt. <laughs> All right. I got you. Thank you. All right. So here is the stopper. Very gentle. Right here. No brakes. <laughs> 
I know, Patty. I'm gonna need. I'm actually gonna need a uh, hot chocolate intervention soon, and it's just our first <laughs> cold spell. <laughs> All right, so it's three inches tall by about an inch, little over an inch and a half wide, little over an inch and a half wide. Nina, it is pink, and then it does have a little window so you can see the inside glass right there. Here's the bottom. Bottom is just has some red, uh, red little felt velvety stuff on the bottom so it doesn't scratch up. But all right, not seeing any interest in this, so we will pass. And those were my three. So I am going to pull back over Trisha. You got Noel in at 10. Oh, I got you. Okay, we'll count it down for Noel real quick. Going once. <laughs> Going twice. Sorry, we must have a bigger lag than I thought. And oh, so to Noel. Congrats, Noel. Thank you. Okay, I have a stack of six clay pots. They are tied together for display purposes. This is going to start at $12 for the six pots. Okay, got it. And you can see they are kind of brushed with paint just to give it kind of a rustic look. So we've got some greens and some blues a yellow, and then the red. And the whole pot is done in those colors. It is hard to tell because they are tied together, but you can see kind of the body of the pot there is done in the colors. And these are just little clay pots. <laughs> but it is really cute how they are tied together. So they're strung up, so great for displaying, you know, in your garden, indoor garden, fairy garden, patio, or you can use them. You can untie them and line them all up and use them, and they would be really cute. Each one is uh, four inches by three inches, so four by three for the clay pots. Oh, a wind chime, that would be pretty, that would be cool. Okay, then I have um, a cream and sugar set. This is going to start at $12. And this is little clovers. But it still could be really cute for Christmas. And if you wanted to, you could use that for gravy. You know, you could use that for nuts. You don't have to use it for cream and sugar. Uh, this is from Ireland. It is Royal Terra. Bone China made in Ireland. So very similar. Another company just like Balik. And that is why you get all of the cute little clover shamrocks all around there. Nice handle. But this is a good sized creamer. So you definitely, if you wanted to for the holidays, use that for... Um, a gravy, or if you have some other kind of cream you're serving with a dessert, that could be really nice. And this bowl for the sugar bowl is very large. Uh, this one on its own is four and a half wide and three deep. So four and a half by three. This is a ginormous bowl. Um, this little saucer plate is in the same pattern. It is also by Royal Terra. It does have a different bottom on it. And it probably was part of a, of a teapot or teacup set. Just don't have the teacup. 
but do have the saucer. So you can use that for an under plate for your sugar. If you're serving gravy, you're using that. You can use that as an under plate for your gravy. But a beautiful from Ireland Royal Terra set. And, you know, get it now because it's going to be an awesome display come a St. Patty's Day. Ah, true. Okay. And then I have also from Ireland. This is going to start at $20. And it is this fabulous pottery, like coffee pot, hot cocoa pot. Oh, cool. <laughs> you can I see that up. Beautifully <laughs> handmade. Here is the top. Hi, Lucinda. There is the inside and on the bottom. Oops. Get it going the right direction here. Here we go. Right there. It does say made in Ireland. And it has like a little tree. Right there. There you can see it. Handmade yeah. in Ireland. So you can see it is hand thrown. Gorgeous piece of pottery. Yeah, it's whole through apple. I know I, I ended up with several pottery pieces from this last um, estate sale. And that was going through my mind a lot because it's it's so well made and the detailing is so beautiful. And the colors that come through on this natural clay, it is gorgeous. And you can see how it is hand shaped, that beautiful spout. So yeah, this is a really extraordinary piece. And that is $20 from Ireland. All right, and that is my last item. All right, I will show my last three and then it'll be speed round time. <laughs> Sandy, Sandy is in a queen. Uh, thank you, Sandy. Right. This is such a beautiful piece. He would, Mr. Redman would have put some jewelry or something on it. Yes. <laughs> it. He loves oh, yes. doing that. Yes. Uh, and we'll count that down for Sandy. All right. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sandy. Thank you. Congrats, Sandy. Yeah, Patty, he passed away um, last weekend. Yes. Mr. Redmond did. So, all mm. right. I will pull myself over. He He's going to be missed. <laughs> he's yeah. going to be missed for sure. Yeah. All right. My next item is going to start at $8. And I have um, a choice. It's a Mexican pottery um, vase choice. So I have two. They are both different. Um, they're both made in Mexico, though. So I have this one that has like a little sunflower. And what is that? A lily? Hashtag not a botanist. But I think that's a lily. It looks um, like a calla lily. Yeah. Like a, okay. I like the colors on this. It's really pretty. So here's the bottom. And it says maybe pink. H Mexico right there, but it has amazing colors. Um, and then it also has some detail right here, almost like um, a handle coming out. So you can see that it does, it does flare out a little bit right there, almost like an urn almost. So you have a choice between this one or this one, which this one is more like the, the colors that I find, the yellows, the blues, the greens. Right here, it almost almost kind of looks like genie bottle shape. <laughs> almost. Uh, here is the back. It says SB Hinche in Mexico right there. Um, but we have choice. So this one measures. 
no chips, no cracks on, on either one. This one measures about a little over six and a quarter inches tall by three inches wide right here. And then the sunflower one measures a little over six inches tall by four inches wide. So it is a choice. Offer up starting at $8 if anyone is interested in the Mexican pottery vases. They look cute together too because they both have like the yellows and the blues. They do the look nice together. They do. <laughs> mm-hmm. They were sitting on my shelf together. So I was like, oh, do a choice. I'm gonna do a choice today. All right. Not seeing any interest in this one. So we will pass. And then my next item is also starting at eight dollars. So I'm gonna leave that up. It is a candle. Um, and it is um like a little birdhouse, like a ceramic birdhouse, but I love that bird on there. I Nine times out of ten, I wouldn't pick this up. I wouldn't pick this up, but that bird had me sold right there. So it has birds, and then it has bees, <laughs> and the <Whoa>. pretty flower. <laughs> it's the birds and the bees. So yes. it does have a candle in here. I cannot smell the candle, and I don't have any allergy issues. I just... Wow, I would not have known that there was a candle in there. Yeah, it's it's not scented at all. I mean, th that's easy. You could take that you out know, if you want to. Not all candles are scented. I know, but I'm a Bath and Body Works girl. <laughs> <laughs> those those are scented. Extra scented. <laughs> I like the intense ones uh, right there. But you could take the candle out, use it as a trinket box um, if you wanted to. There's one little chip right there at the bottom. But other than that, it is in great condition. You can even put this outside. You know what? Do citronella candles have a scent? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. In my mind, I was thinking, well, maybe it's a citronella candle that you put outside because it's a birdhouse, but I don't know. I don't know. All right. Four and a quarter inches tall by six inches wide. Four and a quarter by six. So $8 if anyone is interested in the birdhouse candle. Or again, you could use it. You can use it for whatever you'd like. All right. We will pass on that. And then my last item, also $8, but I have a metal. Um, I'm calling it a ginger jar because it kind of has that shape. Um, on the bottom, there is just some red felt. Um I was expecting actually to see a Made in India sticker. I don't see that right here. Here is the inside. You can see that it is metal. I know you can't see in there, but it's like the dark hole right there. <laughs> you can't see this, but it is metal. It is going to be $8 if anyone is interested. I like the look and I like the color of it. So it measures about six and a half inches wide. And then at the widest, it's about three and a half inches. So it's right here. I put some spices or something in this. Like cinnamon. Put some oh. cinnamon sticks in there. Yeah. See how now you can see with the light how it has so much design going on. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like marble ish. All right, I'm not seeing any interest in this either, so we will pass. Those were my three, so it's speed round time, guys. Woohoo! All right, so everyone that is still with us, thank you. Number one, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, um, we are going to show you the items that we still have available. These will be quick claims in the chat. If you are watching on the replay and you fast forwarded through everything, how dare you? Number one, we had a great conversation at the beginning. <laughs> you but, missed the shenanigans. You missed it. <laughs> and Martha, Martha is in for the ginger jar. Thank you, Martha. It is coming to you. All right, I will put you down for that. Um, if you're watching on the replay, guys, please, please, please. Um, 
either comment on the video if there's something you were interested in, or you can email us directly, and I will I will make sure Trisha gets the message. So, all right, guys, here we go. It's Trisha's turn. All right, so I have the Tupperware shaker. This still has that like new plastic smell to it, and it's got the shaker part in there. Uh, this is by Tupperware, and this is ten dollars number three. Ten dollars number three. I have the it's right here. This little plastic. It's almost like. I don't know. It's it's a really hard plastic, a, more of a like a vintage style plastic. It's a trinket dish. It is hand painted. There is the bottom. It's got some kind of a number or I don't know inventory system. I don't know. Uh, this is seven dollars and it is number four. Seven dollars, number four. The candle holder. Now this is going to take a smaller taper candle, about about as big as your finger, kind of size taper candle. It does have a patina on it. It is about twelve inches tall for the candle holder. It is made in Taiwan. So a little older of a piece made in Taiwan. Uh, this is $8, number five. $8, number five. Uh, the parfaits. Tupperware parfait. I do have four of these available and they are $2 each. So Tupperware parfaits, $2 each. You don't have to buy all four. If you just want two of them, just let me know how many you would like. But I do have four available, and they are $2 each. The, I don't know, cheese and crackers holder, cheese block holder. This is also by Tupperware. Let me get this open. There we go. It's got a pull-out tray. So whatever you're storing in here, um, you know, or maybe you're storing celery and carrots in here. So to make it easier for you to chop them and you just pull it out. Uh, this one is $10 and it is number eight. $10 number eight. Now uh, the paper plate holders, let me get them up here. I have got the lovely kind of mustard yellow and the green. Uh, these ones have a hole in the center there. So your plate sits kind of on top of the hole. The red one is solid. Just the red one is solid. These are $2 each. And I have five, nope, now I can't count. One, two, three, I have four of the goldenrod. <laughs> two, three, four, five of the avocado and one of the red. They hold your beverage also. So uh, $2 each on those. And you can just let me know however many you would like. Oh, Patty, Patty is taking the red one. All right. Thank you, Patty. Congrats, Patty. Move that one out. Okay. Then I've got the music boxes. So the music boxes move. This one is Christmas. And this is $8, number 10. And just put Christmas, if you would like her, $8, number 10. Porcelain face, porcelain hands. She is older. She's made in Taiwan, probably the early 80s. And then I have the jester. 
Jester is a little bigger, but also moves around when you do the music box. Porcelain hands, porcelain face. This is $8, number 10. I've got the candle. This is called Bathing Beauties. It is a six inch pillar. All of these lovely gals from the 1920s at the beach. It is a candle. And this is $15, number 11. I have the six pots. So six stacked pots. Uh, this is $12, number 13. And the Terra, Royal Terra from Ireland, Bone China in the shamrock design, the very large creamer, the very large sugar, and an underplate. And they are $12, number 14 for that set. And those are my items. <laughs> All right. And guys, I did put Trisha's channel link in the chat. Uh, so please make sure that you are still subscribed uh, to Trisha because we know YouTube likes to play that fun little game. I know. <laughs> and make all... sure you check the bell and get all notifications so you'll be notified when I go live for my sales and Jen yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So for my items still available, I had the Pier One um, bottle. What, what do they call it? Bottle stopper. A bottle stopper from Pier 1. It is rather large, y'all. This, this is pretty pretty large. It looks like it um, might be mercury glass or maybe just has that look of mercury glass. But this would be a fun little gift uh, to give with a bottle of wine, some champagne. Just love the look of it. Um, this was $5, letter S. $5, letter S. I had the dog, wooden dog towel bar right here. It is, is <laughs> it's so cute. It is, and it is vintage. It is a thin wood. It is light um, as well. But the puppy towel bar is eight dollars. Letter G, eight dollars. Letter G. I had the whatnot rack right here um it is splitting right here so it needs a little bit of of wood glue um but i love the look of it i thought it was so cool um and kitschy looking uh the whatnot rack was eight dollars letter h eight dollars letter h i had the woolworth obviously <laughs> um little bud vase it is eight inches it does have the controlled bubbles Right here at the bottom, I know my light is kind of, I have the brightest light right here. You can, maybe it's better if I go like this. It is a smoke gray, um, and I actually have the box um, for it as well. This was $8, letter J, $8, letter J. I had the Mexican pottery um, choice right here so i had this one with the lily and the sunflower right here and then i also had this one right here this one looks like a genie bottle to me i, I do i do like that i like the shape of both of them but it looks really cool so these were eight dollars choice so you can do eight dollars um k or you can do eight dollars l for those. And then last but not least, I had the uh, birdhouse candle holder right here. I just like the bird. I think it's cute. It does have a candle in it um, already, but I feel like somebody could take that out, use this as a trinket box, um, put it on your porch with some bird food in it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but this was $8 letter P. $8 letter P. And those were my items, guys. So. There we go. I am going to bring us back up together. There we go. So, Tricia, what you got coming up? Well, <laughs> tomorrow I'll be back for my lunchtime sale at 1130. Uh, so make sure you've got that notification bell turned on. 
Uh, Wednesday, we'll be starting off with Jen and Mark and Michael of Two Old Guys and 11, 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time on Jen's channel, 4 p.m. Eastern on my channel, Two Sales on Wednesday. Going to be great. Hello. It is going to be fun. I love double sale day. <laughs> it's fun. Um, all right. So as for me, I will be live tomorrow <laughs> um, on Halloween. Uh, it, I am doing a sale with myself and Gina from Southern Siren Vintage. You're doing a We're... sale with yourself? Wow. Hey, Gina. Special Gina. Guest. Special <laughs> guest myself. <laughs> so, with Gina of Southern Siren Vintage, we're going to try something new tomorrow. Uh, we're also doing a new time. So we're going to start at 2 o'clock. Uh, so 2 o'clock Central um, will be on my channel. Um, we're going to try something new. Everything's going to be a flat price, and it's all going to be speed round. We're bringing 50 items, so it's going to be a speed round sale. Uh, so join us. <laughs> join us tomorrow at 2 p.m. Uh, Trisha just told you about Wednesday, Thursday. It is the Spend Your Thursday with Roy and Jen sale. That is at 5.30 p.m. Central. And then Friday, It is uh, this week we're on his channel. <laughs> we're on his channel this week. Um, Friday is the twin sister sale. So join us at 1 30 PM central on my channel for that sale as well. So thank you every single person that thank is you. here tonight. We appreciate you. you so much. Thanks for hanging out with us. It's always fun. And hopefully you'll hang out with us tomorrow too. Yep. <laughs> it's cheaper than buying candy. Have you priced candy? It's expensive. I so really <laughs> expensive this year oh, for Gosh, candy. 8A. Let's see what A is. I don't have an A. Do you have an A? Hi, Jose. Or maybe. Mm -hmm. Now, my number eight was the Tupperware Keeper. Martha, just let just put in the chat Alice. what it is. I know. I don't yeah. have an A. Yeah, you just I you just it, let right? us know what what you want. We yeah. will we will make it happen. We got you, Martha. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you, Jose. Numbers, Jose. Thank you. Numbers and letters are hard. So <laughs> it is. It is to be honest. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, we had, I hope you had as much fun as we did. Martha, just put that in the chat because even when the show ends, we'll still be able to see it. So we will see thank it. you. Don't worry. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a good evening and we'll see you in the chat. Bye, everybody. Bye.